it's your girl miss multiple streams if you know what i mean and it's your girl mocha bk okay and today it's the kickback it's wednesday yes. it's eight o'clock and it's the kickback okay yes today we have a special guest his name is what's your name honest b Honest B, yes. okay? None other than Honest B. So, today we have the kickback, Mocha BK, Key BK, and Honest B. And today, we're going to turn things up a little bit. Listen, I mean, we're going to relax. He's nervous. He said he's nervous. So, we're going to relax. We're going to relax, okay? But we in here. We out here, okay? Okay? We definitely out. We in here, but we definitely out there, too. So, with that being said, let's kick it straight off with this. Tell us a little bit about what you do, who you are, where are you from? You know, give us a little background who Honest B is. So, I'm born and raised in Louisville, Kentucky. Okay. Um, I am South Korean, fully South Korean. Okay. And basically, I make music for myself, but I'm also making it to, like, you know, help inspire other people and then help uplift them. Okay. And I'm not really, like, too into the scene of, like, you know, the typical, like, hip-hop scene. And I'm trying to do things a little bit different, but that's just who I am. And I feel that. So remember, I want y'all to remember at the beginning of the show, I said I'm going to be Wendy Williams, right? right? Okay, so I have to know, you do hip-hop. You said you're not traditional, and I totally get that. I've seen you perform. Yeah. You're dope, and I love it. But what I have to know is, because you do rap, have you gotten your black car yet? Like, are you invited to the cookout? <laughs> we going to see you anytime soon? Um. I haven't been really invited to a cookout, but okay, you know, okay. I feel like I feel like you know they wouldn't mind having me. Yeah. I'm sure. Okay. I'm sure. I, yeah. I think he definitely got his black card. It's okay, coming. you think so? Look at the sign. Okay, but what you gonna bring though? What do you mean? What you gonna bring to the cookout? Oh, well, I mean, I really don't really go to cookouts. Even with my family, I don't have a big family. Okay, so most I of my family is in Korea, so I don't. You know, That's fair. Okay, so, you know, I'm very like to myself a lot of times. Mm -hmm. Okay, I understand. I understand. So, if you don't have that much family here, what do you do for fun? Like, how do you get with your friends? Like, what's that thing that is like appealing to you? Just makes you have fun every day. Um, well, I necessarily don't like. Well, what I think is fun for me personally, I like <laughs> I like reading books a lot now. Okay, you know, hey, I, a lot I like reading books. Book. Yeah, I like uh, I like working out. I like um, I like writing a lot too. And, um, now, when you say writing, what do you mean? So, writing, I do write songs, and I also just write out my thoughts a lot of times, where I just free my thoughts mm -hmm. and just mm -hmm. let things free, and it don't matter what I'm saying. So, like, do you, I'm like, take out a specific amount of time, and you're like, I'm going to write for this amount of time? No, it's not amount of time, it's amount of pages. So, like, at oh, least mm. three pages a day. Oh, okay. Oh, so it feels cool. Three pages? Listen, yeah. I give myself five minutes. I'm like, just write everything you can think in five minutes, okay? <laughs> I try but not you got to me rush me. it. I try, I try to just like, you know, just whatever oh, comes oh. to my mind. I feel you. I feel you. It's all about mindfulness. Mm -hmm. That's the key word for me these days is mindfulness. What does that mean to y'all? Awareness. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Being what is it very aware. Me? Yeah, I would say it's definitely personal for me. Like, it has to intertwine with the mindset. You feel me? When you mindfulness... You, know, you definitely have the right mindset. So I definitely use those words and exchange them with yourself. For sure. I appreciate people with the spirit of discernment. Mm -hmm. But let me tell you why, though, because I was reading a story earlier about how none other than Coyle Ray, yes. right? <laughs> so she has a fan that came up to her and was like, hey, Coy. I like saying Lorraine. That's what they refer to her in the article says. But, hey, Koi, let me take a picture with you, right? Yeah. So she's like, yes, Ben, take a picture with me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so not even 24 hours later, the fan is like, who's the celebrity? You feel me? Like, I feel like I look more like a celebrity than you. Mm. But, and so the everybody shade. is going off. The shade. The shade. The shade, the the shade <laughs> right? Okay. So everybody's going off like, why would you even, like, why do you have time in your day? to just be shysty like that. You know what I mean? I mean so, go ahead, go ahead. Have y'all seen her, though? Have, Koi Lorraine, have I, you seen Koi Lorraine? I follow yeah. Lil Ray, you know? Have you seen Lil Ray? <laughs> <laughs> you know? She's, I mean, depending, I know, on, I mean, depending the girl, on what she looked like, the other girl. The girl was cute, but I mean, like, seriously, you look more like a celebrity. She was like, I'm just more polished. And 
don't know. I don't know. I mean, Ma'am, you was just, I mean, you went to her concert to get a picture with her. You feel me? You went to her meet and greet to get a picture period. with her. Period. So my question is, who how, says would you, how would you react if something like that happened to you? Like, say we at Nirvana, you feel me? And somebody come up to you and like, hey, honest B, let me have a picture. And then the next day, they like, I'm a better rapper than this man. How <laughs> you feel me? Like, how would you react me. to that? That's crazy, right? Um, I wouldn't really take it in no personal way. You know, everybody has their own way of feeling about themselves, and if that makes them feel better, it is what it is. I'm not gonna be like, no, nah, you ain't no better rapper than like. Nah, fair, so, fair, fair. That's fair. That's fair. That's fair. Unless how she been right. clapping back too. It's like I'm just. I just love what I do. Good. Yeah. You love it, because I don't. Real talk, though. And, 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 and when you love what you do, listen, you can't mess with what I do, you know? Like, no, but that's that's real, though. That's real. No matter what criticism you have, it's your opinion. I have my opinion, so yeah. you can't mess with what I do. You feel me? For sure. If you think you do it better, show me. Honey. That's how I feel. That part. Stand on that. That part. You know? <laughs> with that being said, honestly, I do have to ask you about, like, the future comings for you with your music. You said that you are ready to take time space like a step back as you would say yeah is it something that you just want to do for you or is it something that you want to do to make your music better or to just you know uplift yourself it's all that you know it's okay. for me and it's to do better for my music and like focus more on that and even though i just like really started pushing myself this year it's uh it's like very eye-opening but it's helped me realize like my position and like what I really need to do and what I really need to focus on. So, yeah, just, you know, taking a break and really focus on myself and then, like, what I really need to do. And you better. And you better. And you better. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love that for you. For real. Yeah. How does it feel being a star? Being a star? I mean. (laughs) (laughs) Because you are a star. Because you are a star. How does it feel, though? Is it good? It feels good. Uh, I don't really think of it, like, as a star. It's just, it's just like a little bit of pressure. That's it, because I'm not used to this kind of thing. But I feel you. It's just opening out more and just getting used to. Getting it. comfortable. Yeah, getting comfortable. Okay. I need to get used to we're it because really? we ain't going nowhere. We're, we're not going nowhere. Not going nowhere. At, nowhere. at all. At definitely all. get used to it because I feel like once you start becoming your true self, then you will have to get uncomfortable to get comfortable yeah. at times. So you just gotta, you know, sure. step outside yourself one time, you know, do you. That's why everything I've been doing this year is stepping out of my comfort zone more and more. And it's uh it's very challenging. It's just facing your fears little by little. And the more you do it, the more you'll get used to it. Yeah, and and the like you that. get used to it, you know all your but fears are just gonna help you. I said we're not going nowhere. The only way we going is to commercial break, okay? Yeah. So so get unnervous. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We, it's the kickback. Yeah. When we so come kick back, back. Kickback. Okay. It's oh, the <laughs> kickback. Period. Let's go. <laughs> no limit cleaning. Your dirt is our business. Commercial cleaning. We educate people on compliance to get through the COVID crisis. Call us at 502-299-0714. No limit cleaning. Your dirt is our business. Again, that's 502-299-0714. Are you a poet for the people? Illuminating the emotions of those who know what suffering from an unjust system feels like. Everyone doesn't have the opportunity to hold a crowd by the ears, so for us to take on that role with our God-given craft, it's only right. Are you a poet for the people? A destiny meant not for the weak. We too have suffered trials and tribulations, experienced in rebuilding what was once torn down with the words that we speak. Beat, 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 beat. The Amira Show. It's all love. <laughs> what the hell? Listen, it's your girl Miss Multiple Streams, if you know what I mean. And it's your girl Mocha BK, don't play. <laughs> and we back. Okay, listen, it's time to get juicy. It's time to get the tea oh. because you were key. Ooh. And if you don't know me, Ooh. I'm going to get ratchet. No. no. <laughs> listen, but listen, I'm going I'm to definitely get it's up under your skin one time. I got to know who you really are because Honest B is a strong name. So which means you have to be honest Ooh. about everything I'm going to talk about. We're going to play a little game. All you right. like games? She said that. I'll play a game. Okay. Which, which games should we play? I got to. 
I want to do this or that. Yeah, yeah. That's you know, that's let's game. do it. Let's, let's do it. Let's do this or that. So this is just to see what type of, you know, person you are to figure you out. You got to choose between the two. So we're going to give you this or that, and you have to choose which one that you would prefer. Okay. Okay. Simple is easy. Shouldn't be too hard. We're going to start off with something small and simple. We'll start off with the food category. All right. Let's test your uh, black card real quick. Uh-huh. <laughs> She's crazy. <laughs> you know, fried chicken or collard greens. Fried chicken. Okay. Straight like that. He got Straight his black like card. That. Don't even worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> he got it. He said it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, let's go with colors then. I'm real simple. Man. Okay. Real okay. Simple. I like so, that. are we going to go with yellow or brown? Oh, damn. Those are my favorite colors, so don't be mean. Two okay. ugly colors. <laughs> I'm gonna say yellow. Yellow, yellow say, for okay. sure, for sure. Okay, okay. I like I like yellow too, over yeah. brown because brown is just like, over brown. Yeah. Uh, anyway, it just reminds me. Of <laughs> me <you know>? Anyway, <laughs> I can't help it. I can't You're help so it. Mean. But I'm just saying. Okay, let's talk about the ladies. Let's get interesting real quick okay. for you. Mm-hmm. On this B, when it comes to the ladies, Caucasian. Oh, African American. She's crazy. Uh, African American. Oh, I, I knew mean. it. I knew it. Listen. <laughs> Hold on, but a period. Okay, but period right there. Let's stop that, okay? Period. Because I want to know what it is about African American women that makes you so attractive, honey. Because we obviously know you're not of the same race, and that's okay. Shout out to you. Love you. More power to you, honey. Period. But what is it that attracts you to African American like it. It's just more understanding on like where we come from. And then, you know, I think that's what ma- it mainly is. That's just fair. being more understanding and just like, because. I don't want to get too much into this race shit, but like, <laughs> no, you know, I'm really, I'm really, really, that's what it is. That's what it is. You know, I'm gonna just keep it at that. Okay, it's understanding. That's fair. That's yeah. they fair. understand you better. Is what you saying yeah. that you can understand them better? Yeah, both sides. Most definitely. That's cool. I so, would definitely sure. agree. is that a part of why you became a rapper? No, I was. I became a rapper because like I was heavily influenced by rap itself. Like okay. you know, yeah. being able to fair. express yeah. yourself and use your words in unique ways. And I thought that was really cool. And then also, like, you know, using your own type of flows and then, like, you know, being able to do that, that, that was really cool. And then, Definitely. you know, it's just, I was just heavily influenced by that. Cool. So I was like, man, that's dope. I want to do that. So I did it. And I feel good every time I do it. So, yes. That's yeah. good. I love it. So when you say that you were heavily influenced, who is that group, that, that artist that you just know? Okay, I listen to this man every day. I listen to this music every day. I gotta be a rapper because I can do this. Who was that person for you? Like who that, influenced you the most? That really w- made me want to rap yeah. was definitely Tupac. Okay. And then after Tupac, uh, when Kendrick came out, I was like, "Damn, Kendrick is fucking dope." Kendrick, Kendrick is fucking dope. definitely. And then, but like, who really got me into like just the genre of hip hop and rap was Fifty Cent. Mm. And then he, and then he got me into Eminem, and I was like, "Holy shit, this man's lyrics are crazy." Yes. He's just, he's just crazy, you know? So, he is crazy. Yeah. Hey, yeah, right. he's just crazy. Yeah. <laughs> hey, that's so funny because, listen, Eminem was a different character, but no one can take his lyrics away from him. But, true that. True that. You, you know, and I can say that about you too, honestly, because I've seen you perform a few times now. and oh, God. I feel like every week. <laughs> right, at this point. But every time you just capture the stage, like, Everybody has to pay attention to you. What do you mean? It's honest B. And you're you're obvious. I mean, you're different. Not offensively, but like, yeah. you're different. They you don't know? expect you to be and a rapper. I, like I that. love you different. You got bars. So they be like, oh, shit. Yeah, I mean, I get like, all they the be time. Shocked. And I like, when I be performing and I look at the faces and they're just like, the fuck? <laughs> they <laughs> they're always shocked. And I'm just like. They do. Yeah, this how Mouths be open like, oh, no. I yeah. Can't hear him. And I'm, sometimes like, you know. I'm on it. You expect people to like bop their heads, but like when I see them not bop their heads, and instead they're I look at their eyes and they're just like, "No, hold on, what?" <laughs> yeah. They're more in shock more than like just trying to right. like catch the beat and stuff. They're trying to catch my words and like Definitely. see what I'm saying. It's a connection. And, yeah. Definitely. And I think that's like more important for me personally when I go out and perform. I want to be able to like to get the audience to hear what I'm saying, mm. like because I think that's really important. Definitely. I'm glad that you said that. Yeah. I feel like a lot of rappers, I don't know, feel more feel more importantly about the beat. You know what I mean? Because sure. that's what captures people's attention is the beat. You feel me? Mm-hmm. So as long as I got a good beat, then yeah, I, I got fans. You know what I mean? And that's not how this works. Because if you cannot rap, you cannot rap. That too. You know that me? too. 
I think the beat's pretty important too, cause like I'm very picky on the beats too, and it like all on how it makes me feel. So if it's like a real smooth beat, but then like it hits me in a certain way, then I'll definitely like start writing to it. I'm not much of a freestyler, even though I write a lot. I'm not much of a freestyler because it's hard for me to like just to be real clever and come off the top like that. You know, it can I be it can you. be very difficult. So like. Uh, someone like Ti, you, mm. you don't see much freestyles with him, right? That's my love. But he's fucking, no, right. he's fucking crazy. Like <laughs> when he gets you. on the mic, he goes crazy. He but you don't see him doing freestyles because it's just not his thing, mm -hmm. which I respect the fuck out of. Because not fair. every rapper has to be able to freestyle. No, that's part, because that, that doesn't make him break you as an artist. Yeah. I feel like I can freestyle. Y'all want to see it? Go ahead. Oh no no! I can't. <laughs> watch she play. Listen, watch she play. Cause she know I'm gonna say no, 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 no. I feel like you can do it. You think we can do it? If we gonna do it, you gonna do it? Okay, if y'all do it, I'll do it. But it don't expect me to do much. Okay, uh, we, uh, we, we gonna, gonna see. We gonna see. No, you gotta start it on. Oh, that means yeah. I can't write it down. No, oh my god, she <laughs> all that means I can't. Write it down. That's off the top. Like, listen, she don't know how. She don't understand how freestyling works. So yeah, go probably not for me. Yeah. Not, not for you. I try. Well, let me ask you this, honestly. What's your hardest bar? My hardest mm. bar. Oh man, I don't spit it. You gotta spit it. <sighs> I don't care if it's hard or not. I'm gonna put you anyway. So let us know what it is. What is it? Ah uh, man, that's that's crazy. Cause like I have a lot of. I don't even like focus on like which one's my hardest bar. I just like. What's your favorite know. song? Cause I know my favorite right, song. What's your favorite yours? song of yours? My favorite song. It would be would be work. Okay. Work. work. For sure. Have I ever heard that before? Learn my work. That's a work called for it. Honey? Okay, okay. Yes, okay, yes. Definitely, familiar. Definitely, yes, definitely, yeah, definitely heard it. Yeah, that hits my soul when I, whenever I perform it. Okay. Yeah. I, listen, the song got to hit your soul because if Honey. it doesn't, then listen, it's not a good song. Yeah. And if it doesn't touch the other people, you know, it's not a good song too. For so sure. Mm -hmm. I'm glad it hit your soul. If you know it hit your soul, hit somebody else. Hell yeah. Gotcha. Sorry, like that. Honest B, where can we find you on social media? On social media, only you have Instagram right now, but I'm gonna eventually branch out. But on Instagram, H O N three S T D. Okay, period. Absolutely. Listen, Let's we get it to it. We're gonna come right back. Listen, it's your girl, Miss Multiple Streams, if you know what I mean. And it's your girl, Maka BK. Don't play. Get into it, honey. It's the kickback. <laughs> Are you a poet for the people? Illuminating the emotions of those who know what suffering from an unjust system feels like. Everyone doesn't have the opportunity to hold a crowd by the ears, so for us to take on that role with our God-given craft, it's only right. Are you a poet for the people? A destiny meant not for the weak. We too have suffered trials and tribulations, experienced in rebuilding what was once torn down with the words that we speak. Beep, 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 beep. No limit cleaning. Your dirt is our business. Commercial cleaning. We educate people on compliance to get through the COVID crisis. Call us at 502-299-0714. No Limit Cleaning. Your dirt is our business. Again, that's 502-299-0714. The Amira Show. It's all love. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> and we back it's miss mo to a strange you know what i mean and we are back with the kick back listen mocha hmm. what you got because i'm ready i think you you do you have another game because if not i just want to get interested okay do i have another game mm -hmm. let's not, it's play cool. Okay, I just have a few questions, that's all. Okay. You got a few questions? Go ahead. Go okay, ahead. let's Come play on. Would You Rather. Okay, yeah. let's go. Okay, let's I'm going to give you a choice, and she's going to give you a choice. If you choose which one, you would choose. All right. I'm not going to be mad if you're going to choose me. Mm. Okay. She's okay. going to be mad if she's cheating already. <laughs> no, I'm not going to be mad. Okay, so. Would you rather be locked in the room with us or... <laughs> Locked in the room with them. <laughs> what? what? Damn, I don't know. <laughs> nah, that's not fair. I wasn't ready. That's not fair. I wasn't ready. <laughs> uh, okay, we're going with that. All right. 
<laughs> you gotta you gotta choose one. She said this I say one. y'all because I know y'all. Period. Yeah. Period. And we gonna turn up. Listen, I'm gonna turn up in that room. Do your most definitely. Okay. I'm just letting you know. Most definitely. <laughs> okay. okay. Would you rather have dinner with the president of the United States or have dinner with Halle Berry? Oh, Halle Berry. Halle Berry. Yes, we ain't messing with Joe, he's too old. You know, we can't wait. We can't. Whoa, that's my president. But we can't do that with Joe right now. Hold on, wait. Does that, do I get my black card taken away from that? Yeah, you do because Obama's my president. Fair. Black card. Okay. Revoked. Fair. Fair. <laughs> it's gone. Okay, okay. Last, last one, last one. Would you rather let me do your makeup or <laughs> let me paint your toes? Wow. Um, paint my toes because then I'm going to be wearing shoes and socks. Nobody can see that. Oh, no. Obviously, you have to wear flip flops. Nice one. <laughs> <laughs> you have to wear flip flops. That was the whole agreement. They have to be seen. Now. She didn't say that beforehand. She it's cool. Say that. Okay. It's cool. That's fair. That's fair. You're an honest dude. I can't see you <laughs> in makeup, though. That would be funny as hell. You don't want me doing it. Yes. Okay. Don't, do like it. Like <laughs> don't do it like it. Don't do it like it. Don't do it like it. I love it. I love it here. OMG. So what's the best part about being who you are, about being honest D? The best part about being me? It's just being me. Just being able to express myself how I want to and, you know, live the life that I have and also being fortunate enough to live the life that I live. You know, being able Ooh. to do these things such as making music and yeah. just being able to find some peace of mind and some clarity when I can, because there's a lot of shit going on in the world. Period. Period. So, like, you know. I heard that. Listen, and that clarity is what we need sometimes, because sure. at the end of the day, it could be so much stuff going on, but no matter what's going on, as long as you know that your mind is right and you clear, it don't even matter. You feel me? We got to stay focused. So how do you get up, like, every day? Do you have, like, a daily routine, meditation, yoga? What's your daily routine to get you started? So every morning, I wake up, I stretch for like 15 minutes. Okay. Then, 15 minutes? Yeah. Not just the hoop. No. I ain't stretching. I ain't stretching. That's what's up. I love then, that. I would take yeah. 15 minutes tomorrow. Because then I work out in the morning too, so I need to stretch. Mm, that and part. I get ready for work and I go to work. And then, oh yeah, also I do my three pages early in the morning. Okay. I always do it in the morning. If I don't, then I feel like, I don't know, I feel like I got too much on my mind. Mm. And I want to like just let a lot of shit go so that my mind is more clear throughout mm. the day so i'm not thinking about too much shit. that makes sense it's the clarity it's that the clarity for me sense. i'm glad you brought that up though like the whole waking up routine because i actually um wrote an article on stratofficial.com about your sleep hygiene which is the opposite of you know like Definitely. your regular hygiene so it's all about like your process of going to bed what do you do before you go to bed what do you do when you first wake up so I guess that is a part of your sleep hygiene, but yeah. I feel like people underestimate that. A lot of times we say sleep doesn't matter or you feel me? I have to work all the time in order to be successful or to get things done. And I just feel like that's not true because first of all, I need naps. I don't know about y'all. <laughs> I don't know about y'all, but I'm very faithful and consistent about my nap, okay? Yeah. But, you know, I also have things that I do before I go to bed <laughs> that make me feel good when I wake up at the same time. Yeah. So I'm glad you had that routine. Kay, do you have a routine? Let's talk about the nap stuff because, listen, the other day, she wanted me to take a nap, and I felt like I was in time out in preschool. She was like, uh-uh, go back to sleep. <laughs> I was like, uh-uh, <laughs> don't make me take a nap because you want to take a nap. Okay. Like, but my daily routine, you know, is to get my detox tea in my body, get my mind right. Um, I have something that I take called NIG that helps with my anxiety and depression and stuff like that. So I definitely just try to get right. Um, if I want to put a little makeup on for her, you know, little eyelashes, you know, yeah. to be me, you know, whatever it is that it takes to get up every day and be me. I definitely like to start, we started doing meditation and yoga, so that's something I'm liking right now. It's a little different, but, you know, we it's cool. It. It's we cool. It. I like it. I love it. That's, just, that's my daily routine when I get up, though. Definitely. I love it, y'all. Okay. I just had to know where y'all head with that one time. That's oh, what a man said that one time. <laughs> okay, so tell me, you said your favorite song was? Worth. Worth, correct? And yeah. so where did the inspiration for that come? Um, cause, Okay, so I wrote that song like two years ago, and I didn't record it till this year. Mm -hmm. And the inspiration came from, because I was such a low state of mind mm -hmm. two years ago, and I really got low with myself. So... I wanted to make this song to really like self-motivate myself 
So then if I just repeated these words to me mm. constantly, then eventually I will become that person. Oh and I'll goodness. know my worth and then just like, you know, okay. bring it to life, you know, manifest it. And eventually it did. And then like when I recorded it, my, my engineer was like, yo, this song. That's what's up. I was like, fuck it, man. I, I love that. It's good. Love that it's good. You. For sure. Huh? You definitely cut with the bars. It's it's just it's the bars for me. <laughs> <laughs> the bars for me for is something though. different that, you know, that you wouldn't expect because people always look at the appearance of a person and they automatically get this perception. Like, yeah. you don't even know me, baby. You don't know who I am. That part. You don't know who I know. That so part. It's very good to always give an eye open these days. Just be like, hey, okay. You thought that was who, who you were talking to, well, but this is really who I am. So right. I like how you just kept this disguise, but it's like when you pop out, you pop out. You really show the crowd who you are every time you hit that stage. Like, it's a blessing Definitely. to hear you. For Definitely. sure. Ooh, say that. Listen, it is. He, I love his presence. Like, he gets everybody. Like, if you get everybody in there, like, oh, uh, okay, I see what you're doing. Like, that's sure. that's what it is. But anyway, let's talk about, you said, we can find you on Instagram. What was your Instagram again? Uh, tell, tell the people. I need them to know. It's H-O-N theory S-T-V. Honey. Okay, and tell us about that YouTube channel as well. Plug yourself on that. So YouTube is just honesty, H O N E S T V. Okay. Um, I just started putting out like just a little bit of content here, there, just like uh, audio for my songs and also lyric videos. Ooh, cool. you know, I love it. Get out there with it. Yeah, I see. I'm definitely trying to like branch out more into YouTube, and a lot of people be telling me to get into TikTok. Honey, you better. Um, yeah, I need to, right? Definitely. Yeah. I understand that. I've been trying okay. to branch out myself. So if y'all want to follow me, you can follow me at Kiweezy. It's K-E-E-W-H-E-E-Z-Y. And also on Facebook, is K-E-E-B-K. Okay, so make sure y'all follow me. Tap in everything that we're doing. We do everything from lip gloss, business cards, banners, flyers, logos. You feel me? We help people lose weight and gain weight. Uh, we do a little bit of currency exchanging as well, help you with stocks and just getting financial freedom. Mocha, what can they find you, baby? Listen, y'all can find me on Instagram at mocha.bk. That's my name, period. Y'all just seen it, mocha.bk. That's period. it. And that's all, honey. Listen, I love this. I love what I do. I do this all for y'all. And that's it. Listen, I got another question for you that I got to know. But I'm going to ask you after this commercial yeah. break, okay? Okay. So get your mind ready. Period. Get ready. Let's go. I'm no you. Limit Cleaning. Your dirt is our business. Commercial cleaning. We educate people on compliance to get through the COVID crisis. Call us at 502-299-0714. No Limit Cleaning. Your dirt is our business. Again, that's 502-299-0714. The Amira Show. It's all love. <laughs> what the hell? Oh. All right, it's your girl Mucka BK. And we are back. Listen, I said I had a question. I got two questions. I need a follow-up question. And I, I just need to know some things about you. you know, I need to tell follow. us. Tell us more. That's all. Okay. Give us the tea. So listen, listen. I need to know, what would you tell people who want to be where you are right now? Where I am? Mm, I can't really say for other people because everybody's different, you know. Mm -hmm. But just like, just try to find your way, like your passion, what you really love to do, no matter like what it is. If you have a fear of doing it, mm -hmm. just take little baby steps mm. and just go after it. Just a little bit at a time because if you try to do multiple things at once, especially like it could be really, really a lot, like a lot to handle and it could be overwhelming and then you'd be like, fuck, I don't want to do it no more. That part. Yeah, because it gets too overwhelming. You're stressed out about it and you think about it too much and get in your head and then it's just like, fuck it, I, I'm not worth doing it. Yeah. yeah, I can understand that. But you found your place, honey, and I love that for you, for sure, yeah. for sure, for sure. So, what is up next for you? We're gonna get an EP, an album, a performance. What's next? I know you said you're gonna take a little break, but what can we expect in the future? I definitely got a mixtape coming out sometime in November. Okay, it's I can't be wait. My first mixtape, and I'm gonna come out with more music videos. Okay, and yeah, I mean, can we be in the video? I'm sorry. Uh, I think that's rude, but I want to be in the video. 
Please. I just want to get my first video. Tell me you about it. <laughs> are you, are you going to be in the video by yourself? I ain't got to shake my booty. Yeah, yeah. I'm just saying. I just going to be like that. I'm a lot of my videos is going to consist of just me. Okay. It's just like, for right now, I'm just going to be, it's just going to be on me. That's the same thing I do with like features. A lot of people want to do features with me, but I just, I'm not too comfortable with, comfortable with doing features right okay. now. And I told a lot of people like next year, I'm definitely going to do features because I just want to focus on my music right now and find my sound. Find me? Yeah. Have you had anybody feature on your tracks though? Not, not right now. Okay. I, I did, you know, a Kill Warrior? Yeah. I have a, I have a track cold. for him. He's cold. Yeah, cool. I have a cool. track for him. He's cold. But that's the only person. I was like, okay, I'll do it with you. <laughs> but Super dope. That's because they have, like, this bond. I yeah. Think. I can tell. Yeah, like, for, sure. for sure. Yeah, you guys have this for bond, sure, for, for sure. Because sure. sure. every time someone sees you guys, they be like, they can rap. I'm like, really rap? <laughs> they rapping better than you. True, 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 true. It'd be crazy. Like, <laughs> dang. <laughs> He really is. Like, he's really cool. Y'all got to check him out, man. Definitely. Definitely. Well, listen, I just personally, from the kickback, from the key, from the mocha, listen, we, we all just want to thank you for being on the show for real. Oh, thank you for You're a really me. dope person. Thank for real. You. For real. And I love your honesty. Honesty. Yeah. Real talk. It was, it was good just having a kickback with you. And you definitely have to come to the cookout because we do have a whole DJ mix session with DJ Mocha. And we will. You feel me? <laughs> DJ Mocha with DJ. Yeah, she is a whole vibe. And, like, when I tell you, we're going to make some good food for you, too. Hey, I'm down. I know you might eat a little different food, but we're going to get no, some right. No, happy like that stuff, girl. But listen. <laughs> listen. <laughs> listen. Did you say happy? Yeah. All right. All right. Oh, my God. Listen. You are funny. I love it, though. Listen, audience, we want to thank you guys for tuning in to the kickback. This is a great experience. It's about to go up, honey. New season. New us. New kickback. <laughs> No honest B, because he's coming with a mixed taste. Okay. Period, though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, um, I got a, okay, never mind, never mind. That was my question. But, so with that being said, <laughs> I do got to get I into can't it. say that. I, can I say what I want to say on her? I can't say, I can't say no. Okay. Right. What? What is this? I don't know what that is. I can't be explicit, Laura. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Jesus. Right, you, okay. you can't be explicit. Say what the I'm fuck you want to say now. Listen, <laughs> <laughs> I had to know. I had to know. I'm, I'm trying to be politically correct enough. Not politically correct. Girl. Any, we are not in the White House, baby. Listen, but you listen. I'm glad you said that because when I got, I was getting ready to come on here. She thought she was. Just, I was like, I'm Monica Hardy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> listen, do you know who Monica Hardy is? Don't don't play. No, nah, don't. Listen, she is on WKY. Uh, She's the black news lady. Okay. And I thought that was me. I thought She's it was me. Crazy. I thought it was me. Bro. And I feel great. I feel great right now. So I really want to thank you for coming to our show. <laughs> thank you for coming. Do Monica sure be on there with her birthday? What's your birthday? April 7th. Okay, we can have a birthday party. Ooh, oh, yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. I'm not much of a birthday person, but if you if you want to do that, that's cool. Birthdays is my favorite, love. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. He got a whole year into his birthday coming in. Yeah, Listen, <laughs> so you're not Taurus, are you? You are what? Yeah. They said that, Taurus. It says okay. that Aries is supposed to be my best friend. That's what yeah. they said. Yeah. Um, they said Virgos are supposed to be my best friend, but baby, I don't know about that. Mm, interesting. Virgo. Virgos are a little crazy. My cat, cat was a Virgo. You know, so. Oh, I ain't say nothing. But you are Aries, and that's all that matters for. <laughs> <Period. laughs> Let's see. So, you're not into birthdays. You don't do nothing for your birthday. Mm-mm, you do really. not celebrate any holidays. I used to, but now I just think of it as another day. Oh, It'd be like that. As you get older, for sure. Yeah. You ain't got no kids, do you? No. Okay. No kids. Nah. Hey, you, you said hard, kids? too. You got nah. a girlfriend? No, I don't have a girlfriend. Do you want a girlfriend? Because I know some girls that like some. Rich, oh, I got a black girl. I got a black girl right now who is looking for oh, a hey, man. man. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? And will and will. And go um, crazy every time she see one. She be like. Oh, I'm gonna drop all my hoes in here. <laughs> no, for real. Like every time she see an Asian man, she be like, "For I'm real, drop all my hoes in here." I just found my husband. Girl. For real though, she be starstruck. Yeah, I'm not looking to be in a relationship. I'm Ooh. I'm too focused on myself. Right you now. tell me. You just need a shouty. Not even. He did not <laughs> say that. He said fuck the hoes. Not even. Uh, I don't know. I've never been that kind of person. I feel just, you. You know, to just want to. He said he ain't no thought. He said he want a wife or move to the right, honey. (laughs) That's what he said. (laughs) Okay. That's right. That's how how it should be, though. You can't be popping no kids out. You know, I just want to 
know the person before I really get you know intimate with somebody. As you should. As you should. Yeah. Definitely. I'm glad I love you. You're a man of of principle, of values. Yeah, you know what they say? If you don't stand for. If you don't stand for nothing, you don't vote. She fell. <laughs> hey, that's basically what they say, though. If you don't stand for nothing, you'll fall for something. So I love that you stand on your shit and you're better. Yeah, and definitely. you're better. It's, it's awesome. It's awesome. Definitely. Listen, are we, are we about to wrap it up? This has know. been a good show. I don't, want, I don't want exit left. No, this has been a good exit. show for sure. Listen, you having a good time? Yeah, I'm having a good time. He's cool. always having a good time. Hey. Yeah, no, he was a little tense. He was a little tense. I know he was sweating. They was like, "Let me give this man a napkin." He was sweating like, "Hey, it was all so good though. We love it. We love it, and we appreciate you. And we cannot wait to see you again. Hopefully, even though you're not performing tomorrow, you still come to Nirvana. Yes, Bye-bye. you got to because we're hosting, so you must see us. All right, I'll come. Definitely. I'll slide You got to. And y'all better come. Soon. And I'm gonna tell y'all this. We're gonna leave it with these three things. We're gonna get up out of here. I need y'all to make sure y'all stay positive. Mm. I need y'all to make sure y'all stay productive. I need y'all to make sure y'all do something good for somebody else because it does go a long way, Most man. Stuff. It's Miss Mocha with Strange, but y'all know what I mean. Follow and me. your girl, Mocha BK. Don't play. It's the kickback. Hey! <laughs> Listen, it's Honest B. What a three. Nah. <laughs> that part. That but part. for her, though, we out of here. We love y'all. Peace. I can't even let that work. Yeah.